So here's an MSA, older SCBA, that stands for self-contained breathing apparatus. These are found in almost every fire department. And today I'm gonna to show you how to pretty much use it. It's pretty simple, just a couple things. Right here, this is your pressure gauge. You can connect this piece to a different SCBA bottle and refill up your current air supply and that'll give you some more air. This right here, this is your low alarm bell. This will start going off once you reach about 5,000 PSI in your air bottle. To take the air bottle out of the harness here, first go ahead and make sure your knob is off, and then you can go ahead and just unscrew this part. Once this is off, you see this, this strap right here? Just go ahead and pull it out, untwist it, and the bottle can now come out. And here's what the bottle looks like. Pretty simple air tank. And then to put it back, just slide it back in through. And then secure the latch. And then twist this piece right here back on. And when you are twisting it back on, make sure you do not cross thread. To turn on the SCBA, you just twist this knob right here. And you'll hear the bell ring that tells you it's on. And then you have airflow. This right here is your connector where it connects to the face piece right here. Just slides right in and connects. And this will run air. Uh, right here is a regulator valve. If you need a constant airflow, you can just turn it on slightly. And it'll start running air or all the way on. Getting a call now, suddenly. Now, once you have the SCBA on, if you do not move for a certain amount of time, the SCBA will start going into alarm mode. We'll demonstrate that. And it'll, it has a couple different stages of alarms, which you're about to hear. But if a firefighter ever fell in a building and was unconscious or something, this would allow other firefighters to hear where the fallen firefighter is and find him. All right, now it's going off. As you can see, these lights right here are red. And now it's in full on alarm mode. And to turn it off, you have to press this yellow button twice. This little remote right here, this is your reading. So you have a physical gauge to see how much air is in your tank, as well as a digital screen right here that shows the exact number of PSI you have. Here's your mask, it's pretty straightforward. This is your neck strap. Right here you have a voice diaphragm right there to enhance your voice. And to put it on, you just kinda put this up to your face and Pull this part over and yeah. And lastly, to turn the SCBA off, just go ahead and turn the wheel all the way closed. And once you have it all the way closed, go. you wanna go ahead and bleed out your valve by using the regulator. And then once that is all bleeded out, you can go ahead and turn it off. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put on your SCBA with firefighter turnout gear on. I find that the fastest way to put on the SCBA is to hold it like this and then put it over my head like that. And then once that's in, tighten your straps, buckle in your seatbelt strap, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and tighten that strap as well. Once you have that in, this strap is also commonly forgotten, but you also gotta buckle this in too. Now, once you have that on, you can go ahead and turn on your air and simultaneously get your mask ready now, when you're putting on your mask, you can't forget your neck strap. It's commonly forgotten. I've even forgotten it a couple times. Goes over your neck like that. Pull this up to your face like that. And you're gonna wanna pull it over like that. And then tighten these straps as tight as you can get them. Now, once that's on, you can go ahead and put up your hood which protects the back of your head. Once your hood is all on, 
can go ahead and plug in your air. Just like that. Once you have that on, you can go ahead and get your helmet on. And then last but not least, your gloves. And once that is all on, you are all ready to go and survive in a burning building. That's why we have our gear on. That's what we're talking about, huh? Yeah. I'm great with SCR Safety. Thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day.